Alex, I know a lot of folks are up in Athens celebrating the national championship win. Some people are in Atlanta celebrating their weekend. Yeah. Sounds like they need to be hitting the roads at this point. Oh, yeah. You know, Connor was up there in Athens yeah. today, and he's like, I am not sticking around waiting for that ice. He is on the road back to Macon now. And if you know anybody up there, I would recommend doing the same thing because the precip is on our doorstep here on the Georgia-Alabama line. This is a live look from Atrium Health Navicent. You can see the camera shaking in the wind there, 51 degrees. Here's why it's shaking. Gusts up to 25 miles an hour at Middle Georgia Regional Airport right now, and those are only going to increase as we go through the night tonight. So here's live radar. Here's what I'm talking about in terms of the precip on our doorstep about to move into Upson County and Taylor Macon County here in the next little bit and then this will slowly take over all of central Georgia here in the coming hours all part of this larger system here here's the low near the Memphis area uh, shield of rain there in Alabama Mississippi and you can see it's all working up toward central Georgia setting up for a major winter storm to the north of central Georgia so here we go through the overnight hours this is midnight you can see all of central Georgia sopped into some rain now 45 degrees here in Macon. Our temperature at midnight is going to be the high temperature for Sunday because as we go through the day, we are going to see the temperatures continue to fall. Now, this is our high resolution model. Notice all this pink up in here. That's a wintry mix, some freezing rain, sleet, maybe even some snow mixed in. Notice this is north of Interstate 20 and generally speaking east of uh, Atlanta. If you draw a line north to south through uh, downtown Metro Atlanta, but watch this through the evening hours and the or, Yes, the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Notice you see some snow that is snow there mixing in here to central Georgia, but notice those temperatures that is not conducive for snow. So I think this model is having a hard time uh, deciphering what the type of precip is. So we are sticking with an all cold rain for central Georgia as we head through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. National Weather Service agreeing all of the winter weather alerts are along and north of Interstate 20, a winter storm warning from Fannin County down to Pickens, Forsyth, Gwinnett, over towards Athens, and then an ice storm warning here into the Midlands of South Carolina. No winter weather alerts here in central Georgia for good reason. We're not expecting winter weather here in central Georgia. Here's a look at the snowfall that you could see if you're up to the north. Notice a lot of it confined to the mountains now. Some ice expected in portions of northeast Georgia, which is helping diminish the amounts. That was the GFS. This is the European model. You can see again, not a whole lot of snow where this is mainly going to be an ice event up there across northern portions of Georgia. Now it's still going to get cold across central Georgia. Don't get me wrong there. So here we go into tomorrow morning. Notice this boundary right here. That's a warm front. 41 degrees here in Macon. This red line here is the freezing line. That's why we're going to be looking at the wintry precip up there in northeast Georgia, indicative of the wedge with the winds coming out of the northeast there. And then as we head into Monday morning, you can see the freezing line gets a bit closer, and that is going to be that across central Georgia. Now, the wind gusts are going to be significant across central Georgia tonight. This is 2 a.m. now. Notice we're getting close to 40 miles an hour across some areas, and then another reinforcing shot of air tomorrow morning. So the wind advisory in effect until noon tomorrow. It is going to be windy throughout the whole day though, expecting the wind gust to be highest up until the noon hour. The wind will still persist beyond that. Again, 20 to 30 mile an hour sustained winds, gust to 40 miles an hour. And this dark brown color up here in Metro Atlanta, that is a high wind warning. We haven't seen that issued for parts of Georgia since 2016, believe it or not. So now that we talked about the wind, let's talk about the feels like temperatures. So this is 9 a.m. feeling like 36 here in Macon. Macon feels like 19 in Atlanta, 16 in Athens. That's why you want to go ahead and get out if you're up there. The low tracks across our feels like temperatures stays in the 20s tomorrow, so raining, but feeling like the 20s outside and it's going to remain cold through Monday. So again, rain here, snow to the north and ice up towards the Carolinas and in northeast Georgia. And then beyond that and into the week, we stay mostly dry through the middle part of the week. It's not till the end of the week where our next system begins to arrive. Here it comes coming across the state line. And then could we do this song and dance once again? Could we be talking about some wintery precip next weekend? This is one model run. We've got a lot of time to watch it, but something we'll be keeping our eyes on in the days ahead. So here we go into to the night 45 by about 2 a.m. Again, that's going to be the overnight low at midnight. 34, I think, is what we're getting down to with very gusty winds, gusts up to 40 miles an hour. There's the seven day warming up to 60 by Wednesday. And then again, watching the end of next week very closely. We'll watch the models run by run and see what happens there. Ashlyn.